welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're here to talk about multi-position, multi-function ladders, aka convertible aluminum ladder systems. Now, these were brought to the U.S. Uh, let me back it up. There's Hal Wing. He's the guy, the founder of Wing Enterprises, better known to you and I as uh, the little giant ladder system. And he went over to Germany and he found in the 70s a prototype for ladders like this. He's a, that's a great idea. I'm going to swipe that. Ran back to the U.S. and he patented that and started producing these kind of ladders, the little giant line ladders, out of his garage in, uh, in Utah. And he did this for years, selling them at uh, factory uh, trade shows and stuff like that. And uh, eventually it's become, you know, quite a big thing. In fact, these days it's almost the de facto ladder for many people in DIY home use, but it's also used in some industry use and other places as well. They've come out with fiberglass versions, step ladder versions, larger versions, smaller versions, anything you can think of. <laughs> the little giant's gotten kind of big. And as such, of course, you know, we've gotten knockoffs, you know, because he brought this back in the 70s, probably patented late, patented late, late 70s, early 80s. It's far out of patent. So now we're seeing these showing up everywhere. And I think the reason for that is, is their ease of use and not just ease of use, their flexibility of use. You can use them as a small A frame. You can use them as a large A frame. You can use them as a scaffolding setup. You can use them as a, a, an extending ladder. You can use them in some really awkward positions. I've seen some really incredible setups where people have done some really weird, if not safe, you know, things with ladders like this. Uh, in fact, I will personally admit that we used one of ours. We had a little giant that we used as a swimming pool ladder. We had an above ground pool and the Cubs broke the, uh, the ladder that came with the system. It was a cheap little thing. And uh, so I put this thing in the pool. Probably not the best choice to use for long term, but for just one summer, it worked great until we were able to get a bigger, more robust ladder. Now, and the other thing is, you know, with them folding flat like that, it makes them easy for storage. One takeaway from these things is they're real finger biters, man. You can really lose a digit in one of these things. The other thing is they're they're uh, surprisingly heavy. A lot of people look at them. They think aluminum ladder. This thing will be great. Nice, easy. To lie. They're a lot heavier than they look. All right. And they can be a bit unwieldy at times when you get them fully extended. You start, you know, manipulating things around. So they're not perfect. And I'm not trying to say that they are, but they are great, especially for the homeowner who doesn't want to have multiple ladders around the house. I don't want a long ladder and a short ladder and a step ladder. I just want one solution that does it all. And these are certainly a one and done sort of solution. Now, sure, as you saw in the intro, you know that I picked up recently the Franklin ladder. That's the one from the old Harbor Freight. And I'm sure you're asking, hey, Bear, come on, tell us which one is the best of these ladders? Well, we're going to step through them. We're going to show you them all. But quick, let me show you some of the features, the unboxing setup of the Franklin ladder. And then I'm going to show you the rest of these. Remember, I do have the little giant ladder also at our other house uh, down in Vegas. So I, I can compare and contrast these two, although not directly because I don't have it here with me. But I, I can tell you, honestly, they're 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 there isn't much of a difference between all these ladders, but let's take a look at it. And you can see what I mean. All right. We got it unwrapped, unpackaged in the mud room here. Cause it's wet and cold outside. We're going to do some projects inside. Uh, so anyway, here's the locking mechanisms that we've been talking about for the, uh, this is for the telescoping feature for the rungs. This helps it articulate up and down. Uh, you can do individual sides. There's two locks per side. You want to engage both of them. And then these push button locks on the side, that, uh, that's what allows you to do the folding part of the mechanism. When you press them in, they lock open until you get to the next lockable point, in which case they snap shut like that. Really makes it simple, easy to use. Give them a good whack on either side. Uh, they have that little protection there to keep your fingers from getting bitten too, much, too badly by these things. Nice steps on it. Anyway, if you do want to set it up, as I said, it's fairly easy. You just pull them out on either side. They can be a tad fiddly, especially when they're going back in. It's just a case of giving a little wiggle locks into place. So I'm going to extend it out here to show you the uh, the off-center setup, if you would, the asymmetrical version, uh, because this can be very useful when you're working up near a wall. You want to get close up to the work surface, but... Uh, you, you don't want to actually be touching the wall. And here it is as it's at its majestic height, at least for the A-frame size. And yes, that is the Evinrude horse, uh, three horsepower vintage motor we've been talking about in the live stream. It's going to be a project at some point. 
not today. Um, anyway, it, these things are really great for, as I said, for around the house. I think that's where they thrive. I can see them in some commercial setups, but I don't know. The Maybe the fiberglass one would be better. You see, there you can see the welds on these, the setup and everything. Yes, that, that's the mudroom there. We're going to be setting up that light. That's actually why it's in here. Okay, there you go. You saw some of the features there on the Franklin ladder from, uh, from Harbor Freight. And as I said, I kind of handed that before, there is not a world of difference in these ladders. Uh, there is some slightly better construction here and there, some slightly better features. And we're going to step through those and show you those. So here we see the, the Franklin ladder at Harbor Freight. And I'll be, I'll be honest, the reason I bought this over, say, the Little Giant or something like that is because it was on sale and in stock. Uh, around here, uh, there was limited stock on these sorts of ladders. And I actually had to wait a week for Harbor Freight to get them in stock. So anyway, we picked it up. We had a coupon there for 109, takes the price down to something a lot more reasonable. So here's the deal. It has a 300 pound weight capacity, telescopes up to a 17 foot maximum height and has a, uh, a weight capacity of about 300 pounds. Or, or, uh, that's what's rated at 300 pounds. Now, one thing I'm going to point out about this is that in this, you see the, this kind of, uh, the locking mechanism. Now, this is very similar with most of these. It has this double uh, pull, for lack of a better word, uh, locking me mechanism. These two pins that go in, very similar to the Little Giant and others. That's what's pictured. That is not what I got. As you may have seen in the video, I got something very different from that. Not necessarily bad, but uniquely different. Uh, the rest of the ladder seems to be very much the same. Uh, didn't see any, any other, uh, you know, important variations not sure why that was changed why they came out with a different locking mechanism uh, maybe we can look into it some more and find some more information on it but until then uh, as i was saying it, it's a 300 pound weight capacity it seems like a well-made ladder has lots of great features has anti-skid anti-marring you know caps on all the ends one thing i'll point out it does come with a 90-day warranty and of course with harbor freight that's fairly typical and then they offer their extended warranty and whatnot my my, in my experiences, man, it's a ladder. It, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. There really isn't much, many two ways about it. So let's take a look then at the little giant because this is the one to beat, right? $150, 18 foot, 300 person capacity or 300 person, 300 pound capacity. Uh, has It looks like to me that it's the same positions that it can go into. Uh, you know, they telescope up into a larger one. You can fold it out into a full reach. You can telescope that out for, you know, up to 18 feet. You can do the the odds and ends kind of bending and however you want to put it. One thing I'll point out, this does come with a limited lifetime warranty from Little Giant. So for $40 more, you get the extended in a lifetime warranty. Again, you know, I've abused the little giant ladder we had. I don't think you'll ever use that warranty, but who knows? Maybe, maybe you'll do something stupid with it, and and they'll have to uh, they'll have to warranty it for you. Now, another option. Now that one is at Lowe's. Other option at Lowe's is they have the Warner. This one is clearly a little little bit different construction. Uh, as you can see there uh, on this one, only the uh, the locking ladder has that uh, flush mount. Not flush mount, I should say surface mount rung, whereas the other ones are riveted to it, which is uh, certainly a less expensive way of doing this. It, it's kind of interesting. They've definitely taken some cost savings here. That said, it's $103. It's an 18 foot. It's got a 250 pound capacity. And uh, as far as warranty, um, there there is none. Uh, it, it Basically, they say they stand behind their product, but they're not going to give you an actual warranty. Oh, we've seen that with different products. Uh, a lot of hammers have warranties like that. Whether they actually stand behind or not, I, I guess you're going to roll the dice on that one. Uh, again, though, you know, it's a it's certainly at least looks to me as a lighter construction ladder, but I don't think it's it's going to be bad per se. Just note that it is not quite as robust 250 pound capacity. Now, over at the Home Depots, we've got the Gorilla Ladder. Now, this is clearly going to be uh, a kind of a hybrid comp. Uh, it's it's very similar to the little giant, but it's also got some of the, the build points from the Werner. As we can see here, these points are riveted on here. 
Uh, even even the, the locking uh, portion is riveted as well. It looks like it has some nice feet on it. It's got the similar locking mechanism at the top uh, as the, uh, the little giant. It's a 18 foot with 20 telescoping adjustable positions. That's pretty much the same as everyone else. 300 pound weight capacity and a limited lifetime warranty on this one as well. Now that's $160 there over at Home Depot. Now, over on the Amazons, we got Good Life. Good Life 17 foot telescoping ladder. Now, this one looks like it's got the similar kind of build, kind of quality as, as far as the placement of the rungs and such as you would see on the, uh, the Little Giant and the Franklin. On top of that, down at the bottom here, you can see it's got the wheels, which can allow for allegedly for easier moving of the ladder. I'll be honest, the Little Giant I have has those. I, I find them completely useless. Uh, it's, I mean, if you want to fold it all the way over and kind of drag it with you, yeah, I guess, but it's just easier to pick the dang thing up and, and carry it. it. It doesn't, you know, it's not lightweight or anything like that, but the, the wheels are, they have to put it at such an angle so that it doesn't come off the ground when in use that you really have to tip it way over for it to be usable. Uh, I, as I said, I've never found them useful. Uh, it has a unique locking mechanism at the top. It's this like a latch system that's completely different from any other ladders that I found. Uh, the rung locking mechanism, the mechanism there is about the same as everyone else. Now this is $159 with free shipping off of Amazon. You don't have to go out, face the Wuhan or anything like that. But that said, I checked on the warranty on this and I, I can't find one. I can't find, it says, uh, when you look for the warranty information, it says contact the manufacturer I try to find a manufacturer page. It's non-existent. I think it's one of these online only, you know, tool companies. And sadly, I, I don't think you're going to get much of a warranty out of that. Costco, C-O-S-C-O, not Costco, Costco. Uh, we've seen this show up in some places. In fact, Harbor Freight carries a Costco product, which is odd. But they have an 18-foot max reach aluminum articulated multi-position ladder. Well, that's a mouthful there. For $138. Now this one is uh, again we've got uh, we've got the the surface mount there for the locking rung, all the rest of the rungs there are riveted in. Uh, it's got a another unique locking mechanism that I haven't seen on any of the other ones for the uh, the folding portion and the locking mechanism for the rungs though is uh, it, it's the same. It may look a little different. It just has a plastic cap over the exterior. It's pretty much the same concept there. Uh, as far as the warranty on this, I believe they've got a 10 year warranty on the Costco products. Let me double check that here. Yeah, we've got a, a 10 year limited warranty on that. Now, again, that's over at Walmart for $138. Now, Ascent. Now, I've, uh, this is at Northern Tools that we're looking at this, but I've seen it a, in a lot of other places. And again, this is very similar to the, I think, closer to the Gorilla than anything else. Uh, we see a, a locking mechanism, the top uh, locking mechanism that's similar to the Little Giant. We've got the surface mount for the locking rung. All the other rungs are riveted. You've got standard, you know, rubberized textured feet for non-slippage. It's got 300 pound weight capacity and it comes with a three-year warranty. That's for $109. Well, there you go. There you have it. That is a quick overview of the different ladders that are out there and what different features they have. I will say, I do think that the Franklin ladder there has some of the best features. You know how Harbor Freight does this sort of thing. They pick the name brand and they try to go after them. And in this case, it's Little Giant. And uh, and I, I will say, I think Little Giant probably has the best features. They're the most up to date. They definitely have the most budget, the most market share. So they can afford to do that kind of, you know, R&D and stuff like that. That said, there's, there just really isn't that much of a difference in all of these ladders. I think that the Franklin and the Little Giant probably have the easiest to use rungs. Uh, when they're in this form factor where there's two rungs in the same lineup, it gives you a little wider footing there. It's a little bit better, I think. Some of the other ones seem kind of narrow. Uh, as far as price, the, the they're very close in price. Franklin is 140 when it's not on sale. The Little Giant is 150 when it's not on sale. 
and has a lifetime warranty. Now, here's the trick. The Little Giant I have seen show up at Costco. When we bought ours, I think it was $110. Now, granted, that was four or five years ago. The what, But they do show up from time to time at Costco and places like that. Usually after there's been a big promotion, they've got some overrun and they'll clear it out through the warehouse stores. So if you're willing to roll the dice on something like that, you may wait around and be able to find one for the near or even the same price as the Franklin. If, however, you just want to be able to go out and pick something up like that and just pick it up today and be done with it, the Franklin's going to be your choice to go to. Granted, you're only going to get that 90-day warranty, but it's a ladder. How many people who have broken, who have a ladder like this? Let me ask it that way. How many people have a ladder like this have ever broken one? I certainly haven't, and I've definitely put it through the ringer. Anyway, there you go. There's your there's your options. Let me know what you think. Is there one that the bear didn't cover? Are there some options or, or usabilities about these that you didn't think I didn't talk about? If so, put them down in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, I, I looked at the analytics lately, and believe it or not, something like 80% of the people who watch these, these videos on a regular basis are not subscribed. Why are you not subscribed? You know what? The good news is it's totally free running a promotion this decade only. Totally free subscriptions. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.